Located in the vast Pacific Ocean, there exists a dark, foreboding place where few have ever ventured. A place of unrelenting pressure, crushing depths, and ethereal darkness that seems to go on forever. This place is known as the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean, where the light of the sun can never reach, and where the most bizarre creatures thrive in the abyssal depths. It's a place of mystery, where strange noises echo through the darkness, and where it's said that sea monsters roam freely. What secrets does this trench hold? What horrors lurk in its depths? Join us as we explore the eerie and enigmatic world of the Mariana Trench. The Mariana Trench is an oceanic trench located in the western Pacific Ocean, about 200 kilometers east of the Mariana Islands. It's crescent-shaped and measures around 2,550 kilometers in length and 69 kilometers in width. The trench is a section of a network of oceanic trenches in the western Pacific that coincide with subduction zones, when two tectonic plates collide and one is thrust beneath the other. At 11,034 meters, or approximately seven miles deep, it's the world's deepest marine trench. The peak of Mount Everest would still be 2,133 meters below sea level if it were positioned at the Mariana Trench's base. The trench stretches for more than 1,580 miles in length, and its average width is 43 miles. Challenger Deep, situated in the main trench southwest of Guam, is a small valley characterized by steep walls on its bottom, and it holds the distinction of being the location with the greatest depth. The Mariana Trench was formed due to the movement of the tectonic plates where the Pacific Plate is subducting beneath the Philippine Plate. During the Challenger Expedition in 1875, a sounding of 26,850 feet was taken near the southern end of the trench, marking the first effort to determine the trench's depth. Nero Deep was found in 1899, southeast of Guam. The Fathomless Trench was discovered in 1875 by the HMS Challenger during a global circumnavigation using newly invented sounding equipment. The HMS Challenger was a British naval vessel that undertook a scientific expedition from 1872 to 1876. This was the first expedition to explore the deep oceans, led by John Murray, and it surveyed the Indian, Atlantic, Pacific, and Antarctic oceans, taking soundings and collecting specimens in dredges. One of the key aspects of this expedition was the use of newly invented sounding equipment to measure the depth of the ocean and retrieve samples. On the HMS Challenger, the Royal Society utilized a variety of equipment that consisted of instruments for measuring soundings, undersea temperatures, and collecting bottom samples, in addition to winches and a donkey engine. The sounding equipment was used to make the first soundings deeper than 4,000 meters, leading to the discovery of marine organisms in the deep ocean and the sampling and documenting of physical, chemical, geological, and biological information in 362 stations covering 36 million kilometers of ocean. The Challenger expedition collected and analyzed thousands of samples of ocean water, sediment, and marine life, and discovered many new species of marine organisms. It also produced the first systematic atlas of the world's oceans, which provided valuable information about the distribution of temperature, salinity, and marine life. The Challenger Deep is the deepest known point on Earth. The greatest depth measured was later found in 1951, when a second HMS Challenger discovered a deeper point on the trench using echo sounding techniques, which was approximately 35,760 feet deeper. In 2021, Challenger Deep was estimated to be 35,876 feet deep using pressure sensors, making it the deepest point ever measured on Earth. The Mariana Snailfish is a newly discovered species of fish that was found during a joint research expedition by the University of Washington in Seattle and Newcastle University in the United Kingdom in 2014. The Mariana snailfish is a small translucent fish that measures about 10 centimeters in length. It was found at depths of up to 8,000 meters and has been named after the location of its discovery in the Mariana Trench. This new species is unique in its ability to survive at such extreme depths, where water pressure is crushing and temperatures are close to freezing. The Mariana snailfish's physiology has adapted to withstand these harsh conditions with a soft jelly-like body that can collapse under pressure and expand again once the pressure is released. The discovery of the Mariana snailfish was a significant breakthrough in marine biology as it shed light on the adaptations that organisms have evolved to survive in the deepest parts of the ocean. This research has the potential to inform the development of new technologies that can withstand extreme conditions, as well as contribute to our understanding of how life evolves in the most extreme environments on Earth. Eurythenes plasticus is a newly discovered species of amphipod 
a type of small shrimp-like crustacean found in the Mariana Trench. This creature was first described in 2020, and its unique name derives from the interlocking armored plates that cover its body, which are meant to protect it from predators and other threats. Despite its armor, Eurythenes plasticus cannot protect itself from plastic pollution, which is how this creature got its name. In addition to its unique armor, Eurythenes plasticus was found to contain microplastics in its gut, highlighting the pervasive impact of plastic pollution on deep-sea ecosystems. Microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic less than 5 millimeters in size, which can be ingested by marine organisms and accumulate in their tissues. The presence of microplastics in Eurythenes plasticus raises concerns about the potential health effects of plastic pollution on deep-sea species, as well as the need for better management of plastic waste on a global scale. Eurythenes plasticus was discovered at depths between 6 and 7 kilometers down the Mariana Trench, where the water pressure is immense, temperatures are near freezing, and sunlight is non-existent. This environment is considered one of the most extreme on Earth, and few species can survive in such harsh conditions. As an amphipod, Eurythenes plasticus is likely an important part of the food web in this deep-sea ecosystem, feeding on smaller organisms and being preyed upon by larger predators. Due to its recent discovery, there's still much to learn about Eurythenes plasticus. Scientists are interested in understanding its physiology, behavior, and ecological role in its deep-sea habitat. The discovery of Eurythenes plasticus underscores the importance of studying deep-sea ecosystems, which are often overlooked but are critical for the health of the planet's oceans and the global climate. In recent years, several types of glowing jellyfish have been discovered in the Mariana Trench. The jellyfish have been observed at depths of up to 4,000 meters or more, and they are able to emit light due to a process called bioluminescence. Bioluminescence is a chemical reaction that occurs with certain types of marine organisms, allowing them to create light without heat. The most famous of these glowing jellyfish is probably the deep Staria enigmatica, which was discovered by scientists using a remotely operated vehicle in the Enigma Seamount in the Mariana Trench. The deep Staria enigmatica is a species of jellyfish that belongs to the family Ulmeridae. It was first described by F.S. Russell in 1967 and is known for its unique morphology and behavior. The jellyfish has a distinctive bell-shaped body, which can reach up to 60 centimeters in diameter. Its body is transparent and contains a gelatinous substance, which makes it difficult to spot in the ocean. The tentacles of Deep Staria enigmatica are thin and long and are arranged in a complex network. The jellyfish has no discernible mouth or digestive system and feeds by trapping small fish and plankton in its tentacles. One of the most interesting features of the Deep Staria enigmatica is its ability to change its shape. The jellyfish has a unique way of swimming, which involves folding and unfolding its bell-shaped body. This allows it to move through the water in a way that's unlike any other jellyfish. Now, despite its interesting appearance, very little is known about the behavior and ecology of the Deep Staria enigmatica. Due to its deep sea habitat and elusive nature, it's difficult to study in the wild. In recent years, Deep Staria enigmatica has gained attention for its potential use in biotechnology. The jellyfish's unique gelatinous substance contains a number of biologically active compounds which may have applications in medicine and other fields. Another jellyfish that's been observed in the Mariana Trench is the Atola jellyfish. The Atola jellyfish is unique in that it's able to emit a bright flash of light when it's attacked, which may help to confuse or deter predators. This ability is known as a burglar alarm display, and it's thought to startle predators and make them lose track of their prey. The Atola jellyfish was first described by the Scottish naturalist Charles Wyville Thompson in 1873 and is named after the research vessel HMS Challenger. The Atola jellyfish is known for its bioluminescent display, which it uses as a defense mechanism when threatened by predators. The jellyfish has numerous small, light-emitting organs called photophores, which are located around the edge of its bell-shaped body. When threatened, the jellyfish produces a series of bright flashes of light which are thought to startle predators and attract the attention of larger predators, diverting their threat away from the jellyfish. The body of Atola jellyfish is relatively small, with a diameter of around 12 to 15 centimeters. It has a translucent bell-shaped body, which is usually reddish-brown in color. The jellyfish has long, thin tentacles that trail behind its body, which it uses to capture prey. The Atola jellyfish is typically found at depths of around 500 to 1,000 meters in the ocean. It's often found in association with other deep-sea organisms, such as krill, cobpods, and small fish. 
Due to its unique defense mechanism and interesting behavior, Otola jellyfish has become a subject of interest for scientists and researchers. The bioluminescent display of the jellyfish has been studied as a potential model for bioluminescent communication and signaling in other organisms. In addition, Atola jellyfish have been studied for its potential use in biotechnology. The jellyfish's photophores produce a luminescent protein called green fluorescent protein, or GFP, which has become widely used in molecular biology and genetic research. Overall, the discovery of glowing jellyfish in the Mariana Trench is a fascinating area of research, and it highlights the incredible diversity of life that can exist in even the most extreme environments on Earth. Zombie worms are part of a large group of animals known as bone-eating worms, or bone worms for short. These worms are known for their ability to break down bones and extract nutrients from them. However, unlike other bone worms which tend to live in shallower waters, zombie worms are adapted to life in the extreme environment of the deep sea, including the Mariana Trench. Zombie worms were first discovered in the Mariana Trench in 2006 during an expedition by the Monterey Bay Aquarium Research Institute. The scientists were using a remotely operated vehicle to explore the depths of the trench when they came across a dead whale carcass. Upon closer inspection, they noticed that the bones of the whale were covered in small, pinkish worms with tentacle-like structures around their mouths. Further study revealed that these were zombie worms, and they were feeding on the whale's bones. Since then, other expeditions to the Mariana Trench have found zombie worms living on a variety of different bones, including those of fish, sharks, and other marine mammals. In some cases, the worms have even been found living on the bones of extinct animals, such as ancient whales and pleosaurs. The name zombie worm comes from the fact that they appeared to reanimate the bones of dead animals, making them seem to come back to life. However, this is not actually the case. The worms do not bring the bones back to life, but they do play an important role in breaking down and decomposing them. One of the most interesting things about zombie worms is their unique symbiotic relationship with bacteria. These bacteria live inside the worms and help them to break down the collagen in the bones, which is their main source of nutrition. The bacteria are also able to produce bioluminescent compounds, which may help to attract prey or deter predators. Zombie worms are typically small, with a tube-like body that ranges in length from a few millimeters to several centimeters. They have a series of tentacle-like structures around their mouth, which they use to latch onto bones and feed. The worms are able to reproduce both sexually and asexually, which allows them to quickly colonize new areas. Zombie worms play an important part of the deep sea ecosystem, helping to break down and recycle the remains of dead animals. Their unique adaptations to life in extreme environments has also made them a fascinating subject of study for scientists, who hope to learn more about how these creatures are able to survive in such harsh conditions. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to check out the other videos available on our channel.